Good afternoon, Compton Bank Run. Hi, yes, hello. I'm looking for Alison Ross, please. Uh, she'll be back looking in a around. second. She's just in accounts just now. Thank you. I'll, I'll hold. OK. Hi, is that Robin? We well, might be. Right, I'll, I'll go and get her, OK? All right. Hello? Hello. Mrs. Ross? Yes. Oh, hello, Mrs. Ross. It's Bob Rawlinson here from British Airways. Hello. Hello. Hi. Did Thomas Cook call this morning? No. Not ah. unless they phoned the house. Right. The Problem? Possi- well, they possibly will be in touch. The travel arrangements have changed. This- Again? Yeah, the itinerary has changed uh, quite a bit this time. Right, sorry, what, how's it going to change? Um, probably be easy to fax it through to you. It's, it's, it's quite a big change. You're going at the busiest weekend of the year, and we're, um, n- we're not going to manage to get you there by plane. I'm sorry? Well, with the safety certificates pending, we're going to have to... We booked you on Eurostar to Paris. Uh, then and then coach to Khan. They, they'd also been in touch Eurostar and responded either. And the compensation on this is uh, I hope there is something, is there? We're still getting you there. We will still get you there. But there is a but though. I mean, what time are we going to get there? Well, it'll be six hours hence from but the original the original itinerary. I mean, it'll be quite an adventure, I suppose. Really? We can't get you on another carrier, or we can't get you on another aircraft in the British Airways fleet, because, as I say, it is the busiest weekend. This is the second time our itinerary's changed, and they were upgraded to business class, and now we're not even going in a plane. Yeah, Eurostar is quite nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Where do we start off, then? Yeah, there's a coach this end as well. You are? Do you, a coach to London? Yeah. Right, I'll speak that's, to Thomas Cook first. That takes you, that'll take you to Waterloo, and we will take you right to the door. Can I need to speak to my husband as well? What, what seems to be the problem? We, we're still, we're going to get you there, Mrs. Yes, Ross. I know. It's not the way we intended going, though. I mean, we chose to fly because it's quicker, and that's the whole point. If we'd wanted to sit on a bloody bus or a train for so many hours, so, so, I beg, that Sorry, way. I beg your pardon? Well, if I'd chosen to go by train or bus, we would have went that way, but we chose to fly because that's the quicker option. I'm oh, sorry, you, you're coming over all high and mighty with me now. Well, we're not going to get there till night time. It's going to be bedtime before we get there now, as opposed to, you know, early evening, late afternoon. Well, what would you have preferred? I'd phone to say you're not going at all? Uh, no. Well, you're happy you're going? Uh, yes, I am happy that I'm going, yes. If you could just maybe let me get off the phone so that I can go and phone my husband and let him know. Well, think about the less fortunate people in the world that won't be getting a holiday this year. I beg your pardon? Think about the less fortunate people in the world who won't be getting a holiday this year. The fact that we can afford a holiday, that's our business, is it not? What's, what's your name, sorry? Uh, Rowlandson, Bob Rowlandson. Okay, and your job title? British Airways Customer Services. Okay, and your boss? What's that got to do with it? I'm just asking. Do you wish to make a complaint? I may want to speak to him. He'll tell you where to get off, Mrs. Ross, if you come across all high and mighty with him. Well, what's his name? His name's Robin Galloway from The Real Radio Breakfast Show. Honestly. <laughs> 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 